Hello, um, today we're going to be looking at uh, the uh, lesson bio for bio 33, no, 2.3.5 S1, which is uh, pertaining to STDs. <clears throat> uh, the curriculum objectives that we're going to be looking at is the general outcome is uh, still students will explain how the survival of the human species is ensured through reproduction, but more specifically explain how sexually transmitted infections, STIs, can interfere with fertility and reproduction. Uh, examples, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and human pampiloma virus. Uh, we're going to look to begin with a chlamydia. Um, this is a, an STD caused by a bacterium, chlamydia, uh, trachomatis, which can damage a woman's reproductive organs. Uh, most frequently reported bacterial STD, um, and it is underreported. Most STDs are underreported because most people with chlamydia um, aren't aware, and, but also, you know, a lot of people don't like to, um, I know, admit that they have an STD. Uh, so that would lead to then reporting as well. Um, but if you're not aware of the infection, you don't seek testing. And then there's uh, about 2.8 million are infected with chlamydia each year. It was probably old stats, so it's probably more than that. And it would probably also be stats associated with the United States. Uh, chlamydia transmission, uh, vaginal, anal, or oral sex, and can be passed from infected mother to her baby during a vaginal childbirth. Um, as with any STD, the greater the number of sex partners, the greater the risk of infection. Uh, chlamydia symptoms, uh, three quarters of infected women and one half of infected men have no symptoms, which makes it, um, you know, more prone to be transmitted. Uh, while symptoms are mild or absent, serious complications can cause irreversible damage, including infertility. can occur silently before the woman ever recognizes the problem. Symptoms may appear within one to three weeks after exposure. <clears throat> okay, so in women, bacteria initially infected or infect the cervix and urethra, resulting in abnormal vaginal discharge or a burning sensation when urinating. Uh, when the infection spreads from the cervix to the fallopian tubes, some women still will have no signs or symptoms. Others will have lower abdominal pain, low back pain, nausea, fever pain during intercourse, or bleeding between menstrual periods. In men, there can be a discharge from the penis or a burning sensation when urinating. Men might also have burning and itching around the opening of the penis. Uh, men or women who are have... Uh, Receptive anal intercourse may acquire chlamydia infection in the rectum, which can cause rectal pain, discharge, or bleeding. Uh, chlamydia can also be found in the throats of women and men having oral sex with an infected partner. <clears throat> if untreated, uh, chlamydia infections can progress to serious reproductive and other health problems, like the disease itself. The damage that chlamydia causes is often silent. Um, women un with untreated infections can spread, uh, infection can spread into the uterus or fallopian tubes and cause pelvic inflammatory disease, PID. It's about 40% of the cases. Uh, PID can cause permanent damage to the fallopian tubes, uterus, and surrounding tissues. The damage can lead to chronic pelvic, pelvic pain, infertility, and uh, potentially fatal ectopic pregnancies. So if the uh, fallopian tubes become scarred or, uh, you know, where there's blockages, then it's much more likely that there could be a implantation um, attempted in the fallopian tube and that uh, ectopic pregnancy, which is um, very dangerous. Uh, men, uh, the infection sometimes spreads to the epididymis, causing pain, fever, and sterility. The treatment is basically antibiotics and retesting uh, three to four months after the treatment. So it's not difficult to treat. Um, and so if anyone 
uh, even suspects they might have it, they should get tested and then uh, get treated if they've got it. Um, gonorrhea is another common STD. It's caused by uh, Neisseria gonorrhea, a bacterium that can grow and multiply easily in the warm, moist areas of the reproductive tract, including the cervix, uterus, and fallopian tubes in women, and in the urethra in women and men. Bacterium can also grow in the mouth, throat, eyes, and anus. It's about 700,000 infections each year. Only about half are estimated to be reported. Um, it's spread through contact with the penis, vagina, mouth, or anus. Ejaculation does not have to occur for gonorrhea to be transmitted or acquired. Gonorrhea can also be spread from mother to baby during delivery. Uh, symptoms for men... Uh, Symptoms may appear 2 to 30 days after infection, a burning sensation when urinating, or discharge, which could be white, yellow, or green from the penis, swollen testicles. Uh, women most have no symptoms or mistake infection for a bladder or vaginal infection. The initial symptoms include painful burning sensation when urinating, increased vaginal discharge, and bleeding between periods. Women with gonorrhea are at a risk of developing serious complications from the infection, regardless of the presence or severity of the symptoms. Untreated gonorrhea can cause, uh, again, PID. Um, it's estimated, and these are, again, old stats, but uh, one million women will develop the PID, which can lead to internal abscesses, which are pus-filled pockets that are hard to cure, uh, and long-lasting chronic pelvic pain. PID can also damage fallopian tubes uh, enough to cause infertility or increase the risk of ectopic pregnancy. In men, gonorrhea can cause epididymitis, which is infection, inflammation of the epididymis. A painful condition of the testicles can lead to infertility if left untreated. And gonorrhea can spread to the blood or joints. <clears throat> the treatment, again, is antibiotics. Uh, it can be successful in adolescents and, ex and adults. However, there are drug-resistant strains of gonorrhea, uh, which is, uh, you know, a danger. And uh, these strains are increasing, and the successful treatment of gonorrhea is becoming more difficult because of that. Although medication will stop the infection, it will not repair any permanent damage done by the disease. <clears throat> 